try has abandoned us. Seemingly. So we'll have to wait for an explanation until he returns. Oh, hey, I come back exactly as soon as, uh, as soon as, uh, I see the stream come up. So, I think this came up earlier, but uh, I kick-started a Choose Your Own Adventure book a while back. It had released recently. It's called Trial of the Clone by Zach Wienersmith of uh, Saturday Morning Breakfast Serial fame. And try this. All uh, kinds of stuff. Do I need do I need to start talking? Yes. Because <laughs> your setup is messed up, man. It's not. Anyway, I don't think I'm aware of this. Uh, so this is a choose your own adventure book with a bit of pen and paper RPG elements. We have HP. We have equipment. We have statistics. And we roll a die, as you can see right here. Wow. So, I have not read this at all. I have no idea what we're in for here, but let's do this. You don't even know what the story is, or...? I know it is called Trial of the Clone. <laughs> uh, right now, our starting stats are 20 HP... One point in fighting, and zero points in wits and charisma. That's not something I made, it's just how you always start. So, here we go. You are zero years old, suspended in a warm, moist sack. You've been sitting here happy and stupid for, if your marks on the wall are correct, approximately 19 months. Or, nine months. Pardon. Behind you, a slit of unbearably bright, unbearable brightness appears and draws your gaze. You turn, you want to turn away, but an overwhelming sense of purpose and meaningfulness propels you to this mystical opening. In a triumphant burst, you leap headlong into the light. You find yourself in the waiting arms of a physician. Instinctively, you whirl around, knowing that behind you is someone who will love you unconditionally as long as you live. Your vision unblurs, and you find a plastic gestation vat into which a young technician is already squirting a syringe of clone sperm. The first emotion you feel in your life is disappointment. Interestingly, it will also be your last emotion and about 80% of the motions in between. Okay. 16 years later, it is your birthday. Your entire life has been spent in the confines of a small space orphanage near Ritni Atvar IV. In the early 28th century, philanthropy became fashionable again among the wealthy, and there was a shortage of orf orphans to adopt. Hence, your existence. By the time you were uh, synthetically gestated, the wealth had moved on to fighting for access to health care for wiener dogs. Hence, your sad existence. Despite being the only child in the orphanage during your cutest years, you were passed over time and time again. Some cited your hair, others your physique, others your conversation. However, when exit surveys were filled out, by far the most common sentiment was simply meh. Now that you are 16, you are legally unadoptable. Father uh, Nadezda fills out some forms, notes that you are now unadoptable for two reasons, and grimaces at your eyebrows. As you mm. reflectively mm. cover them, he explains that you will be sent to Selene Monastery at Skabuk... Skabuk... Prime 
He hands you a strange golden note, which you are not to open. Go to scene 17. Scrolling. I have this in a PDF format, so this is a bit awkward. But I should be able to show you pictures if they arise. <laughs> no. Okay. You arrive at the great monastery of Skabutni. It is a tall black tower of stone covered in shimmering jewels and strange writing. It is funded by government tax, tax subsidies and convincing poor people to donate a percent of their income. The Selene monks were once champions of justice and peace in the galaxy, but later all their mystical powers were superseded by advances in weapons technology. Now, much of their time is spent among tourists and smoking slightly different cultivators of marijuana. At the front gate, you are greeted by a gaunt man in black velvet robes. Master Blimo Paksik. Man, these names. <laughs> he looks you over briefly, snarls in disgust at your eyebrows, and then indicates for you to enter. You hand him the golden note. He reads it for a moment, looks you up, then pokes you in the eye. He observes you He observes you as you whine, not in the face, then nods his head and writes a few words on the note. You follow him inside, expressing your profound rage with a mumbled threat to write a blog post about this. This is so weird. <laughs> this is really weird. Do you have any idea the writing was going to be like this? No. <laughs> <laughs> You spent the last three years learning the ways of the Selenes. You learned that there is a mystical energy that surrounds and binds the universe, which can be harnessed to lift shit or to shoot lightning. <laughs> you learned that there is a good side of the energy and an evil side. You are, oh, really? <laughs> you were informed that the evil side is generally preferable since the learning process is much shorter and you gain all your power just by being upset. Or <laughs> the good side requires rig rigorous mental and physical discipline to achieve comparable results. <laughs> Ever since the slaves were utterly marginalized by improvements in technology, both good siders and bad siders spent most of their time watching movies and browsing the internet. You are now 19. It's time for you to learn a craft. You head to the Selene Monastery's vocational training campus. If you choose to be a medic, go to page 51. If you choose to be a fighter, go to page 52. If you choose to be an engineer, go to page 30 or 23. Medic, fighter, or engineer. Uh, I'm gonna go with engineer. Well, it seems to be medic or engineer. Engineer looking pretty strong. I'm gonna say the engineers have it. So the medics are making an argument. I mean, do we, do we want to result to the usual poll format for this? There's always the dice. What's the, what's the die going to... Dope. Oh. Blooding. We are now apparently beyond the requirement for the, the 13th hour of Sunday. Okay, it's, it's pretty even. We'll go 1-2 for Medic. Or, well, no, one, two for engineer, three, four for medic. This is five dollars for the kids and sixteen cents to mess with me. <laughs> <laughs> we are now in medic. Going to page fifty-one. Oh, dang, it's it's prize time. It is prize time. Why don't you get on that? Oh, 
it takes a while to scroll to page 51 in a PDF. Ah, stop. Let me, uh, let's see, update some of this stuff where applicable. Well, this is a short paragraph here. You've always wanted to receive attention for digging through bodies. As you don't have the nerve to be a serial killer, you turn your attention to medicine. As off. Try to say something. What? <laughs> Talking. Talking, okay. As all scientific medicine is now done by nanomachines and computers, there isn't a significant role for meat based life forms like yourself. Just kidding. There's always a place for outdated science. You will be learning what is now referred to as traditional medicine. The monastery specializes in two forms of traditional medicine, surgery and pediatrics. If we'd like to go to surgery, go to scene 47, or pediatrics is 47, surgery is scene 50. surgery. Pediatrics does seem appropriate for this fundraiser. Hmm. That is a valid point. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it with surgery. Or it's not surgery, pediatrics. How could we not do it for the children? Real quick, speaking of for the children. Mm. Pass. Um, I have one. I have a winner. Mm. Oh, right. Be mute, ma'am. Who appears to be one of the green chat room people. Oh, one of those people. Apparently, Jelly Soup can get him here. Oh, uh-huh. Well, then. Uh, you are given a job in Celine's Children's Medical Hospital. <laughs> How appropriate. <laughs> Making initial diagnoses on, a.k.a. hand-waving a diagnostatron over the kids who come in. It's not as glamorous as surgery, since you're not personally causing anyone's death, but you'd think you'd like to think you're at least proverbial, proverbially stabbing people in the heart by working in medical bureaucracy. A pleasant-looking gentleman in a white cardigan enters, carrying his ten-year-old daughter. He says that his little girl has been sniffling for several several hours. You run the diagnostatron over her, discover that she has a. Do I need to get rid of stack again? And say so. Get rid of what? Static again. Sure. Always appreciate it. I'll just pack my black like that. Yeah, that's lovely. What <laughs> <laughs> once maybe you should run oh oh, maybe you should run at, at again, says what? Maybe you should run at again. Says the cardigan demand. Growing agitated, my little girl is an A student in second grade, he chuckled sarcastically. I highly doubt she'd simply get a cold, or she would say rhinovirus, or as she would say rhinovirus, wouldn't you, dear? The little girl nods vapidly, which inadvertently forces her finger higher into her nose. You run the diagnosis-tron, and the diagnosis remains the same. Nope, you say, looks like she's got a cold. He pulls a bowie knife from his pleated slacks. My child is special, understand? My, if my child isn't special, then I'm not special. And if I'm not special, 
I want to watch the world burn. Okay. Battle. Fighting. Oh. Nice man. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I like this board game concept we've got going on here, but I wish we could just have a regular choose your own adventure with it. <laughs> okay, we are fighting a nice man who may or may not actually be nice. And he has three HP. Oh. So, the random numbers in the book are actually supposed to be zero to three, so we'll minus one for whatever we roll on the die here. And our fighting stat is one, so we add that to whatever we roll. So actually, whatever comes up on the die is what we attack him with. Oops, that's two dice. One die. Three. We kill him in one hit. Hey, I thought you said we subtract one. Yeah, but we add one because we have one fighting stat. Oh. Uh, so we kill this guy. In one hit. Oh, we, we, we win in one hit. Not necessarily Oh, okay, kill. we win. Ah. Dry throw. Which is good, because we could have lost HP there. Go to scene 59 if you win. Which we did. So wait, this thing that Eric Prack linked to this Kickstarter, is this the thing? Yes, that is the thing. The world of pediatrics turns out to be a lot more stabby than you'd guessed. You go to the head nurse and tell him you killed a guy and his daughter. <laughs> <laughs> you, okay! We killed his wait. daughter too, man? You're a pediatrician? In, in a manner of speaking. I am not sure this story is appropriate for a fundraiser. <laughs> <laughs> the head nurse looks horrified. Whoa, hey, look, that's a lot of paperwork. <laughs> Just dump him in some uh, nitric acid and flush him down biohazard. He says, pointing to a diagram of standard protocol. This is a hospital, not a uh, don't stab any kids piddle. <laughs> Medicine is everything you'd hoped it'd be. <laughs> you spend the next six months learning all the most important things about being a doctor. Filling out paperwork, avoiding annoying patients, and how to crush down idle emotions with empathy and self-doubt. Like empathy and self-doubt. However, pediatrics is a hard area of medicine. It's like combing geriatrics and family care, or combining geriatrics and family care. 100% of the patients poop themselves and have immediate family who care about them. This day is particularly trying as you are faced with an irritating, extremely irritating lady. She drones on and on about how she has a dying child who needs medicine and how she can't afford insurance and how the kid would have come in himself and he'd still had a spine and blah, blah, blah. Your goal is to not help her while making her believe that she should feel bad for asking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a battle of wits with nice old lady. Okay. She has a wits rating of two. And we have a wits rating of zero. So whatever we roll, minus one, because of the, like I said before, it's zero to three has to be greater than her two. Hmm. And we get to roll three times, and if none of the rolls are greater than her two, then we're boned. Well, that sounds extremely likely. <laughs> Rolling. And we win. <laughs> okay. Or wait, no, we can't win. We can only tie. Oh. Hmm. 
Oh, wait, we can win if we roll a four. My bad. Okay, next roll. Nope, three again. Last roll. Four. Ha! Ah, I feel like we've cheated. <laughs> uh, go to scene 32 if you defeat her. This book is not at all what I expected so far. No, it's, it's just a weird story. <laughs> the, the, the writing is too, uh, it's, it's, it's too, uh, I, 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 I'm not, not, not sure what the word I'm looking for. It's, it's, uh, it's a bit modern, I guess. Mm. <laughs> After a good 30 minutes of arguing, she starts to cry. You manage to resist the temptation to display weakness for even a second. Then, in an instant, she stops, raises her head, and says, and smiles. Good. Very good. She takes off her coat to reveal a bag. She's not some lady looking for a, a simple shred of human decency, after all. She's the head of pediatric... Of the, she's the head pediatrician of the Selene's. Take a walk with me, she whispers. You find yourself pacing beside her down a cold plastic hallway that smells of disinfectant as she explains the truth about pediatrics. Children That's... don't get diseases anymore unless they have very bad bouillons. What's a bouillon, you ask? The doctor is amazed at your ignorance. <laughs> she talks to you in the voice she normally reserves for five-year-olds. Everything in the universe, at the smallest level, is made up of bouillons. Bouillons form logicoids, which form syntaxons, which make up superstrings, which make up quarks and leptons and everything else. Every bouillon is either a yes bouillon or a no bouillon. Most people are about 50-50, but occasionally an, in an individual has more. People with a little more tend to be lucky. People with a good deal more, say 55-45, are able to change reality with their thoughts. That's where Selene's get power. You're amazed that you've never heard any of this despite being in the monastery for years. She sighs. Everything's gone downhill since the school board put a sticker in every particle physics textbook that says, nuh uh What? Creationist, yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, you ask if you can take a text to determine how many bullions you have. They can't be measured directly. Too small. But you're a rough test. There's a rough test that can be done. You get put in a series of risky situations, and we watch the results. If you perform under expectation, it's because you have m more no bullions. If you perform over expectation, you have more yes bouillons. With a great deal of testing, we can approximate your ratio. You decide to take the test. Okay, maybe we're getting into some action here. Okay. You're <clears throat> placed in the bouillon assignment chamber and presented with two options. One, dunk your head in a bowl of piratas who are raised in bad neighborhoods. Two, eat a tasty apple. Um, um, you, you can choose your test? Yes. Piranhas or Tasty Apple? I, 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 I'm going to leave this one up to you, Mr. Treffer. Oh, per persuade me, chat room. I mean, the apple seems just so safe. I mean, it's... I mean... It, I mean... I, I mean, I, I, you know, it's, it's like... Uh, well, like they're saying, it's like it's a trap. The piranhas were raised in a bad neighborhood. Oh, I mean, all piranhas are. 
Um, I think it has a point where it's also like a big red button design to catch stupid curious people. But I might be a stupid curious person. That seems fitting. But, uh, let's go with the Browns. I mean, we, we can survive. Okay. We can survive. We fine. There's always a way out, right? Maybe. <laughs> you dunk your head in a small jar filled with piranhas. You look around and see a pack of them smoking cigarettes and listening to antisocial music. A couple of them take out butterfly knives and swim directly at you. We are fighting a gang of piratas. Okay. They look pretty strong. No. Oh. Oops. <laughs> All right. Uh, well. Let's see how... They have 20 XP, for the record. Oh, just like us, huh? Yep. And we hit them for one. Woo! Okay, they have 19 XP. I, 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 I should have, should have, shouldn't have done this idea. I'm scared of fish. And they attack. Oops. And they hit us for six. Attack. Three. Cut them down to sixteen. Six. And they hit us for six again. We are down to eight. This is not looking good. Mr. Static Horse. Getting good hits on threes, though. Don't give us that. Some They're... people in the chat uh, are, 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 are. I can't. Some of them, I think, might actually know what they're talking about, or say that it is, in fact, impossible. It does appear to be impossible to win. And they just killed us. <laughs> so, do we, do we have an epilogue? Uh, if you lose. Restore HP to 5, and then go to scene 37. Alright. Should I say something to stop the rushing water? Always appreciate it. How, how do you feel about your fight? What? How do you feel about your fight? No... I mean, apparently we're alive, so it was still worth a try. Just as you're about to be shot in the face by a piranha, you grow furious at the absurdity of life, both at the strangeness of existence in a cold, vast universe and at getting stabbed by a fish. Your body seems to overflow with harsh warmth and brightness. You feel powerful. You scream, and suddenly the lights in the room pop out as your brain surges with energy. Then everything goes black. Technically, everything went black a second ago, but when the bowls popped, you didn't notice because you were screaming at the fish. A flashlight flickers and then illuminates the room. The doctors look in wonder. The water in the tank has vaporized and the fish are charred, yet you are unharmed. Except maybe your eyebrows? No, you say. They were always like that. Uh, we have earned plus three charisma for our impressive mastery of the energy. So this was not necessarily all bad. Things are seem to be progressing. Okay. The analysts check your readout. You have off the chart yes booleans, at least as high as 70%. Nobody in the last thousand generations has been so high. You must be the luckiest person alive. 
the head doctor walks up to you. Tomorrow, we need a surgeon to operate on an important visitor with a dangerous condition. If you are going to be one of our veterans, but with... It was going to be one of our veterans, but with your powers, I'm going to recommend you. Who's the visitor, you ask? The president. <laughs> you gulp so loud, the walls vibrate. No. Go to scene 45. You soberly walk to the headmaster's office. You're not ready for this. Time to call it all off. As you open the door, you realize the room is full of people and holographic cameras. You've just walked into a live meeting between the headmaster of the Selene Monastery and President Baden Vidinek. The headmaster, who is not terribly in tune with the 90s with the niceties of politics, calls your fat mother a whore. You are about to retort that, in fact, I know you are, but what am I, when the president stands and shakes your hand. Okay. Mm -hmm. As if this were all choreographed in advance, the president turns toward the camera and identifies you as the young genius surgeon who shows the promise of the future for the united vassals of the empire. Maybe you should just mute your mic until you want to say something. I, I don't know what's going on. It's, I... It's, it's a thing that's been going on for months, man. I, I don't understand. Skype is not set to auto-adjust. You keep saying that. It is not! <laughs> it is a fact! It is an absolute truth. As if this were all according... Oh, no, 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 I already read that. You thank him, but note that you've never even seen a brain. In fact, this operation is the first you're hearing about it, and but it sure does make an awful lot of sense. Okay. I see. Without hesitation, the president says that he admires your honesty, which shows the promise of the future of the United Vassals of the Empire. He says he'd rather have an honest two-town, small-town surgeon than some elite intellectual surgeon. He smiles for the foes. You walk out of the meeting in a daze as you stumble toward the OR. You are confronted by the seven tall, muscle-bound, obelisk, mansomeness, by the seven-foot-tall, muscle-bound obelisk of manliness known as the Vice President. He brushes a lock of his golden mane away from his sun raised forehead and glowers at a camera and shakes your hand. Minus That's three it. HP. Well, oh. That was quite the handshake. So we have two HP? We have two HP. Okay. He looks you over and nods his head. Be careful, he says. He leans in and asks how you'll think you'll do on the surgery. If you say, great, go to scene 39. If you begin to say something, then sputter and cry, go to scene 46. We are in 32nd place on the Extra Life website. Nice. Uh, great or cry, sir? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, 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 I, I was, was, was sort of distracted. What, 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 what was the context for these choices? Uh, the vice president has crushed our hand and then asked uh -huh. how we think we'll do on the surgery. Great or sputter and cry? Um, great. It's great. <laughs> great. It's great. Okay. Uh, turning to the scene 39. He looks you over, grunts happily, then leaves weird. You scrub up and head to the OR. Go to scene 57. 57. Mm. That is a weird picture that has nothing to do with us. Okay. You enter the OR and are surrounded by a crowd of nurses and reporters. You answer questions in between requests for surgical implements. The nurses have drawn a line across the President Vedanik's forehead as 
which you are supposed to make the incision. You know this as of three seconds ago because the head nurse has filled was filled with horror when you asked what the squiggly red thing on his face was. <laughs> you take the plasma scalpeler and run it across his forehead. Ew. Blood. Ew. <laughs> Wait, wait. Do you think that, or say it out loud? You mustn't... You must have said it out loud if everyone's staring at you. Or maybe it's because you just nicked the president's eyes because you weren't paying attention. Okay. Focus. Focus. I thought we were about to get a choice of whether we said it out loud or whether we thought it in our head. That's what I was thinking. But instead, we are in a battle of wits. With surgery. Okay. Actually, we're in, we're, in, we're in a battle of wits with the first incision. Okay. And we have to beat a two in three rolls. That sounds easy. Two minus one doesn't do it. Two minus one doesn't do it. Three minus one doesn't do it. Do we have to be it? We can't tie it? We cannot tie it. Okay. Um, if you win, go to scene 48. If not, continue on. You fire the beams. Everything goes fine for a moment, and then the machine, machine sputters and changes direction. The president's head lights on fire. Oh, you turn to a nurse and ask, is it supposed to before being slapped? The nurse takes over the operation, but it's too late. The president's head explodes like a pumpkin. The press immediately asks you for a statement. You will be quoted in the galaxy-wide press tomorrow, saying, not it. <laughs> then you notice the pieces of the president's brain, which line your formerly white coat, begin to move like an army of inchworms. In fact, every bit of the president's brain, head inches back towards his neck stump. Over the next few minutes, everyone watches in shock as the little worms reform into a head. As they do, you notice a small piece of orangey-gray meat stuck to your foot, which does not join the procession of brain chunks. You pick it up. A reporter says, what's that? You reply, it's the tumor. You hear the snap of holographic cameras and smile awkwardly. Plus three charisma. Oh, really? We are getting, becoming very charismatic, but we are very dumb. <laughs> <laughs> well, Okay. <laughs> Not not entirely unsurprising. Oh, uh, Zechlor is here. He can pick a prize. Oh! Hey! You soon find yourself receiving the congratulations of your peers for discovering a new form of surgery. You must have had an overload of bullions to be able to reform a human head by yourself. Brilliant. Based on your performance, you are allowed to graduate medical school immediately. Zeklor chooses extra, extra large. Ahoy. Man, those are going like hotcakes. Did you, uh, only had two of those. You did keep that up to date, I assume? I did. They are gone. They are gone. Alrighty. There's only large and extra large remaining. But this is more than kind of odd. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely more than kind of odd. You soon find yourself receiving the congratulations of your peers, blah, blah, blah. All this happens so rapidly that it's hard for you to grasp. You find yourself lying face up on your race car bed, staring at the white stucco ceiling. You don't have any conscious memory of using any Selene powers at all, and yet you must have have some strange abilities that are beyond even your reckoning. Go to scene 65. Static force. Uh, 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 I'll, I'll go to the scene that you just said. 
out loud. Good. What? You doing that? Go do that. I'm doing it soon. Do it. It's graduation day. Based on your outstanding performance in an institution that neither values nor encourages anything of quality, you are teleported to the chamber of the President and Vice President of the United Vessels of the Empire for a special consultation. They are impressed by your ability to meet every challenge, no matter how stupid, pointless, or foolhardy. Both look over you greedily, like you're a delicious steak. The president whispers, we must be certain, to the VP. The VP nods thoughtfully at you, then walks over. His ursine palms grip your puny shoulder as he towers over you. His protruding chin, a monument to mansomeness. Mansomeness. Seriously, try what? You, like mute your mic or something. Well, why don't why don't you mute me and then turn me up when you need to talk to me? I'm trying to do other things. Uh, you, you can unmute when you speak. I, I I don't know why it seems to be more of a problem with this situation, but. Probably because there's no game audio anywhere. By the way, our Skype call is 25 hours, 26 minutes, and 27 seconds. Wow. That's a long Skype call. That is a lengthy Skype call. You will need to be on the front lines of the war. Unfortunately, your urge to vomit stifles your urge to squeal like a small child. Or fortunately, I should say. Due to your achievements at the monastery, we believe you are destined for great things. But first, you must prove your mettle in the man forge of combat. We have gained a basic plasmaster. I don't know what that is. But it gives plus one to fighting. So quiet without tri static. <laughs> One week later, you find yourself on a trip to a strange planet, Merzini 2, to battle a ragtag band of rebels led by the charismatic good cider, Master Slabok. Several years ago, a number of members of the United Vessels of the Empire rebelled. They opposed the UVE, Central Command, cruel treatment of its vassals and wished to acquire independence because of their deep-seated belief that only a local government should be allowed to violate its citizens' rights. General Explosives, Inc. sponsored a subcommittee of Congress which voted to declare war against the succeeding planets. It was an easy choice as the UVE government is decidedly pro-theoplastian in ideology. Oh, this does not read aloud well. <laughs> Whereas the rebels are damnable alternavarians. Ha! Huh, alternavarian? After everything that happened in the 2470s? Ooh, yes. I do support try playing music. In the background. Try. You chuckle at the ignorance of people who are different from you. Standing, you look out the window at the brightness of space at sub, sub cosmic su or super cosmic speed. Each star stretches out as a light yellow band across the dark. You marvel at how vast the universe is compared to a single human life. Killing people doesn't seem so bad after all. And that was the end of Act 1. As a medic, we get plus 1 wits and plus 1 charisma. <laughs> Are you there, Trot? Can you hear the music? Hello. There it goes. 
But the music. Can you hear it? It's kind of surging, weirdly. What? <laughs> Just turn it off. What? That's good. <laughs> There's no music. Oh. What? Why don't we stop there? This is this this story is far more weird than I had anticipated. <laughs> Well, let's. I don't think really anyone's enjoyed it. Yeah, I don't get that sense either. It's. I. I don't, it's. No, it's weird. I don't. Yeah, it's not my. I. The writing is weird. <laughs> yes, it is a weird thing. I. I. I, I mean, what, what? 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 What do people want to do? I, I like video games. <laughs> oh. Um, well, I mean, technically, if we're playing by the rules here, I have a little less than two hours still before you are on for your final hour. Right, but I mean, you know, it'd be nice if I had some of your hour. Yes. Yes, that'd be nice. I think everyone's counting on that. Are they? I think so. Everyone's counting on this. Everyone wants disaster. Oh, we could play a game or solitaire. Jumble to play himself watching me play disaster. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds like a good game. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm just... Hey, look, it's the chat room. Uh, your package has not arrived yet, Whimsy. So... People are playing, paying for video games these hours. We just need to do something. Okay. Do it. Let's do something. Games. Video games. Let's video game it up. All right. Well, we're going video game. Um, I could play crawl. What? Whoa! It's going full screen on me. I could cookie. Well, that could be... I need to get this out of full screen to capture it, I think. <laughs> I see nothing. Oh, now I gotta change settings and stuff. Um, first, let's capture the desktop. Yep. Desktop. Why? Why does this happen, Drum? Why does this sound? Why is this sound a thing? I don't know. Why is it your sound a thing? It's got to be your fault. It's got to be. Uh, there's curl. Oh wait, there it was. But does it happen during movies? Uh, streaming. Yeah. That happens during movies too. I do not understand. Uh, hmm. This file's out of date. This new version of Crawl is changing things on me. stream my uh, horror game too much would give away secrets. Stuff. Spoiler! Yeah. Okay, I think this is what I need to edit. Uh, where is full screen? Not here. How is it not here? 
Reload. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, Boyce is here. Boyce won something. Boyce can pick a prize. Oh. Oh. Jelly Soup has heard from, uh, has, apparently has word from, uh, uh, uh BB Mute Man. Okay. I, I, th does the static not happen when you have game audio? I think it's just less noticeable. Huh. Cause you, you're, you're feeding it back to me big time and I can really hear it. Oh, he posted? Uh, let me scroll up. How far up was it? Oh, the longest journey and dreamfall. Okay. Do you marking that? He can watch me mark it. Whoa. the end of his name. No. Okay. okay. And then boys. Did boys say what boys wanted? Uh, boys is checking what boys wants. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. This is not a video game. Sorry, there you go. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll dig around in my settings and deeper in the computer and see if I can find, like, if there's something weird somewhere, but I don't think so. I don't know why that would be a thing. It, it, it wouldn't make any sense. Okay, voice wants Tim and I Rue. Okay, Drum, all I can tell you is that I'm looking on my recordings tab, and there are very, very, very low levels coming out of my microphone. And when I am not speaking, what I'm seeing you feed back to me is very loud. So, something, I mean, I, I, it's got to be something in your set that's out of it, Jess. Got to be. Uh, well, why don't we investigate this after the stream? I mean, if, have you spoken one on one with? Wait, you can barely hear try. <laughs> well, and here's here's the other thing when when I have attempted to play uh, videos from YouTube off my computer and onto your stream, I have to turn it down so low I basically can't hear it. So okay, you're, you you're must have me apparently. turned way up somehow. Uh, oh, I could 
turn you down a bit. I don't know. Yeah, but I mean, something is weird about the, the bounce. I mean, obviously, if you have to turn me up, then. Yeah, who knows? I don't know. We need to work something out. Like anyway, that. let's let's play some games. I want to play games. Uh, what should I be asking. dry? I can't read those, though. I don't know. Uh, human, elf, dwarf, orc, merfolk, octopus, cat, mummy. There, there, there was some dragon. Someone suggesting hill orc. I had some people. Suggesting cats. I think a cat would be more interesting. I don't think I've ever played a cat at once. Is, is it just is it just a cat or is it a humanoid cat? It is a cat. Just a cat. It's. It, I think it's just a cat. Like a house cat. Uh, yes, that is a cat. Um. I'm going to buck their suggestions and go a wizard cat. Buck. What's buck. the name of our wizard cat? Um. 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 I, uh, I, I don't know. I can't think of things right now. Meowlin. No, boys. Um, I'll go I with think, Meowlin. <laughs> I think Drum might donate some of his remaining time to me, and I have a final hour scheduled for. Um, let me check what it's scheduled for. My final hour is scheduled for one to two. But I'm hoping I might be able to squeeze a little bit of that extra time, a little bit more time from drums part. Mm. It'd be pretty cool. Mm. Should I uh, shrink down the viewport a bit? The what? The viewport. I don't know what the viewport is. The, should I zoom in, so to speak? Zoom in. Oh, I, I don't. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of hard to make out what's going on. Uh, fine. I'll. I'll just do that. Uh, AJ, that is technically not the definite end. Um, with two hundred and twenty-six dollars and eighty-four more cents. Uh, there, there, they, it could it could end at three Eastern time. Statue of more Star more Star. donations can be made and are welcomed and appreciated. Okay, I'm a cat. I have a stake with me and a book of spells. Do you look like a cat? I I'm a black cat, so it's kind of hard to see. Yeah, it's pretty crazy how much we've raised up here. And we're, well, last I checked, 32 on the overall uh, deal for all of Extra Life, ranked number 32. That's pretty awesome. That is crazy town. Uh, let's see, spells. Oh, Magic Dark doesn't even cost us any food right now. Oh, uh, let's see. Technically, the 28th hour is unlocked. We are unlocked through the 28th hour, which will last from 1 to 2 Eastern Time. And I still have yet to beat Disaster, so that is what it will be used for. I don't know. I could get a good run of uh, Dungeon Crawl going here. No. Uh, um... <laughs> You know, since it looks like I'm going to be closing this out, I need to uh, 
fiddle with my Ow. PS2's uh, uh, stuff. Resolution, so I can play every way. I don't know. <laughs> I have on my hours. I have played. I, I I've I've been allotted twelve hours, and apparently apparently I'm right at the end of disaster. Can you do? But it? I'm on. But I'm on hard mode. So I just read a scroll of teleportation. Apparently, that sounds handy. Hey, level two. These caps are pretty quick, apparently. Oh, AJ, you've missed out on the siren happenings? Siren, um, was, uh, deemed no longer worth his time and added to the prize pool. So you too... Could spend time with Sire. Oh, it's been taken, man. Uh, I I know, I know. I'm, I'm getting to that. Okay. So it's been taken. Gendo is taking it, and it will. Drum will sign it and <laughs> send it to Gendo because he won a prize and said, "I want Siren, signed by Drum." Which was a joke, but is apparently happening. <laughs> Yes, the way is happening. Oh, Aww. that I, looks like a Corvac to me. I told people we we have not reached the end here. Whoa! Whoa! Thirty bucks. Thirty bucks. Thirty bucks. That's a substantial number of bucks. Bucks. Uh, cats can't wear armor, sadly. Uh, let's see, Corvac, do I need to add you to the list for prize eligibility? Have you been on here previously? I don't think you have. So I will add you. Yeah, let's see if we can learn new spells. And we can learn Blink, which is very handy for randomly teleporting around. 14% failure rate. Not too shabby. Well, AJ, what's even crazier is that I didn't sleep the night before, so I've been, you know, pretty much awake for a ridiculous number of hours beyond the 24 plus required of this. (laughs) Indeed. That is rather crazy, sir. But, you know, I don't feel that bad. Reading a scroll. It was a scroll of amnesia. But I don't want to forget the spell. And let's chop up a rat. Because we're a cat. That's what we do. So we've got $3,283.16. And if the two o'clock hour were to be unlocked, it would be a hundred and ninety six dollars and eighty four cents. All right, let's learn repel missiles. Always a handy spell to have. Oh, how long were you up, Noi, when 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 I did Final Fantasy VI? All I all I remember is that I, that after I realized I wasn't going to be able to fall asleep after finishing that, I just watched you finish your well, not finish, but watched you do some of your your Final Fantasy VII run after that until nine o'clock, and then I went and passed out. We have <laughs> that is a good point, Lim. <laughs> but why would we repel a missile? <laughs> I walk a missile with open arms. Uh, we have just hit level three, so we can now learn Mephitic Cloud, which is a great spell. And having that on C works just fine for me. 
Well, see, AJ, I, you know, I, 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 I tend, I tend to get about seven hours of sleep, which is just perfect for me. But the, the thing is, I, you know, it's, it's, it's only because I try to be so consistent with it that I tend to hit that mark fairly reliably. But in actuality, I can have a pretty darn bad night of no sleep on occasion, and it is unpleasant. But. Hey, at this point, I feel pretty much like I would have if I just had stayed up 24 anyway, so it's not that bad. It's uh, fine. And this guy well, it's... is easy looking. We could probably melee him. But, um. Yeah, Conjuration Skills Level 3. Not too shabby. But, um. You know, I think we had good times when you were playing Castlevania and stuff. Those those early hours of the morning. Yeah, those were fun times. Those were fun times. We were a little loopy. Oh, they changed the hunger spell rating from units of food to just units. Interesting. We were kind of loopy, and I had my buffalo blanket on my legs, and it was so cozy and warm. I still got mine on my legs. Oh, I'm not really so cold anymore. Yeah, I'm not either. I should probably take it off, but it would be inconvenient at the moment. <laughs> I, I am surprised to discover that, that other people know the wonder of this so fluffy blanket. Yum yum, bat meat. Now yeah, let's try a scroll. Try a scroll on that scroll. Scroll of identity, identified scrolls of random uselessness. Let's get rid of those. Though they can be helpful in a pink, but I usually don't bother. <laughs> Yawn force? Uh, it's, I, was about, I was about to say it's a little early in the afternoon for Yawn force, but wait, it's still morning. <laughs> oh, wow, it is. <laughs> yeah, it's still morning. Can you believe it? I'm feeling pretty okay right now. I think that, oh, man. that, oh, that I'm, second yeah. wind is holding fine. Yeah. Well, let's read a scroll. A scroll of Did, enchanted too, too, wind. Too fast for gnomes. Didn't didn't do anything uh, to to break your your. Uh, it seemed will like I to got continue. through that demo a lot quicker than I did the first time. I know. I, I was kind of disappointed. I, I thought it would kind of make you go crazy and make your your eyes go all bleary and fall out. A nice trash, sir, but no luck. Oh! It's prize time! It's prize time? It is prize time. It's prize time! It's the best oh. time. Let me make sure I am up to date here. Okay. Alright. Let me refresh the prize making page. Hmm. Let's drink a fizzy black potion. Yeah. It was I a think potion a of fizzy slowing. black potion. You feel yourself slow down. Hmm. Yeah, let's try a different potion. You Gently float away from the floor. It was a potion of levitation. Ooh, do I want to mess with the news? Here? It looks easy. All right. I have a winner. Uh, wait. I can do this. Is Sean present? <laughs> and I don't mean just mean people named Sean. I mean Sean, Sean. I think it's with a W, Sean. No, it's a S E A N, Sean. Oh. S E A. Oh, that's Sean. Right. That's Sean. 
is it Sean too? Uh, I believe he is in the chat as Sean too right now, but his backlogger username is just Sean. Ah, that must be a Mivis failure. We have lost our buoyancy. We are no longer a floaty magic cat. Oh, what's the point of being a magic cat if you can't also be a floaty magic cat? We can eat this rat, though. Not that you couldn't do that anyway. It probably tastes better to a cat. Lots of doors. Doors upon doors upon doors upon doors. It's probably leading to a nest of a whole bunch of enemies or something. I will send Sean a private message. Nope. Since he may not be listening. Nothing. Nothing. You're excited me to do that. I'm still exploring. Let's drink another potion. Potion of agility. It almost seems unfair to, for a cat to have that. Oh, they have. They can eat by the pool, eh? That's good to know. I didn't think to look at that. That worker ant might be dangerous. Yep, it looks dangerous. Uh, let's try a cloud. Yeah. I'm used to being a mummy and being able to walk through my own Mephistic cloud. Uh, leave us alone, bat. We're busy. Ooh, extra four. Oh, level four, we've got an extra life. Which is fitting, since we are doing the extra life marathon. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, 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 ah. I guess, uh, I'm not terribly sure how the cat lives work, but you get an extra life with them, because cats and lives and all that. I guess you can get up to nine, probably. Scroll didn't do anything. Oh, Sean has appeared in the chat. I just sent you a PM, but it is apparently not necessary now. I wonder if anyone's replied to one of my PMs yet. Someone did. We already got Zell, uh, Zephlor's shirts taken care of, didn't we? Uh, if you marked it off the uh, eyes thing, uh, let me refresh it. There are no triple extra larges, or double extra larges, rather, written oh, on the okay. prize pool anymore. I so. have a mysterious ring of life protection. Nice. Rolls of Remove Curse, Potion of Curing, all good things. to level four. This has been pretty smooth sailing with Meowlin so far. Eaten 
all the meat because I'm a cat and I can do that. You can just eat it raw. Yep. Well, I'm a bit nauseous after that goblin. Hobgoblin. <laughs> Does big, not sound like a choice meat. Big cobalt zombie. Looks dangerous. Hmm. We'll grab Ow. That identify scroll and run. Because I am so speedy. the temple, but I can't get in. Can I get in? No. Can I get in? Aha! Aha! Um, let's go McLeb. Here, wait. Do my club or veal? The V-Man. If you want to do V-Man. I'm gonna have a bit of this long doesn't feel all that strange. Kitty has a god. Though, you know, we could be, uh, by the time we're done here, we'll have been, we'll, 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 we'll probably be pushing, uh, uh, the, the longest gap in time that I've been without the shower. For a long time, anyway. Whoa. Because I, I absolutely require a shower to wake up in the morning. It is a necessity. Otherwise, I just can't wake up. Oh, we got? Let's try a mysterious scroll, then. Anything for us at all? Eat a snake. I mean, I showered when I, you know, got out of bed on uh, Saturday. Not to say that I had actually slept, but. <laughs> You no, know, I still did my usual take a shower ritual. You probably uh, needed a, a wake up routine right about then. Yeah. I, I I did I did a wake up routine except you know I'd already been awake. <laughs> oh, I tried to enchant a weapon, but my paws do not enchant well, since that's all I have. So, once we're over, I will probably be taking a shower right away. Good to know. Hey, we've reached level 5. Conjuration skills reached level 4. We are rolling right along here. Let's eat an ant. Oh, we are engorged. I, I, I just want to eat disaster burgers. We are a fat, happy kitty, Try. Doesn't that make you happy? Uh, uh yes. Man, this... What is this goblin's deal? Bad guy. Probably have some sort of special equipment. Ooh, we have a... Rise pick. 
No. Apparently it is in my PM inbox. No. Oh, Centaur, Centaur, Centaur. Scary, scary, scary. Oh. Ow. I've been poisoned. Sean chooses... Mortal Kombat Vita. No. So, yes, uh, get with Corey on your address, and uh, we will I mark it as claimed from the pool. But then I drank a potion of curing, and now I'm better. Mortal Kombat Vita, eh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Machine. All right. Ooh, I should have rested up a little more there. No problem. Uh, that's a good point. I want to hit myself in the the cloud. The dog might be pretty fast. Hmm. Better risk it. That is confused. Dog is confused. Cat is okay. <laughs> As things stand, we will have two more prize drawings. So what are we going toward to till now? Two o'clock. You. There's a lot of centaurs around. I don't appreciate that. On a personal level. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Holy ow! What happened? Rain. <laughs> miscast a spell and I'm going to die that arrow really hurt and I'm going to try wait oh blink is inst- I probably should blink I'll try for a blink okay that blink to safety momentarily read it nope 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 no oh, I don't have teleport scrolls oh Oh, we died. We died. Aw, Yowlin. Oh. Yowlin had a good run. But he had an extra life. (gasps) Shock. Extra life. (laughs) Try was all like, maybe he'll let me play disaster now. <laughs> oh, it's all, oh, kitty died. That's just too bad. <laughs> <laughs> jelly, jelly bad. Probably bad. Yep, it's bad. Oh, jeez, the centaur was down here. Well, it's blink. Good blink. That was a perfect blink. Oh, ogre. Bad. What? Frog. What? People say I was on in disaster. Part twenty-five out of twenty-seven. Ow! Oh, frog hurt. How frog hurt? I was just assuming it didn't hurt, but then it hurt. <laughs> you were assuming it was weak, or you were assuming it was un- not aggressive. Oh, the frog caught up with me. The frog. Yeah, man. Frogs hot. Oh. Oh, I got all kinds of careless there. Horrumph. I I just assumed I was better than a frog by now. I mean, many, 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 many creatures are better than frogs. it, It was a giant frog, in fairness. 
many creatures are also better than giant frogs, except for Resident Evil Zero frogs. Those things, like, freaking swallow you in one bite, and they're horrible. Uh, well, Prince Ribbit is, he's not a frog. He just looks like a frog. He's more like a frog, like Chrono Trigger Frog. Mm. Okay, well, why don't I play one more character, and then I'll let Try do his thing. Well, what if it goes forever? <laughs> well, you're not supposed to be able to play till one anyway, sir. Ooh. I want to beat it so bad. Um... Octopodes... Can you be a frog? I cannot be a frog. I can be an octopus. Octopus sounds fun. Mm-hmm. That's such a... I mean, what, what kind of weird thing is that? Or what would be a good Halloween one? Oh, I could be a vampire. Or a ghoul. Or a mummy. Hmm. Or a dragon. Dragons... Scary, scary. Oh. It's just dragon's just like regular scary. Or a demon. Now we've seen mommy. I don't know if we've seen vampire. I don't think we've seen vampire or ghoul. I don't we see like a swamp ghoul or something. Uh, there's a slugs elf and a merfolk. Oh. Can't remember if we saw Merfolk or not. But yeah, we did a Merfolk. Well, I associate Merfolk with Castlevania, so they can, they can be scary, too. Oh, yeah, that ghoul did die pretty quickly. My keyboard fell. Whoops. I could be a sneaky, stabby thing. No, I'm starting to recline further. Oh, you better pick something so we can move forward. Hey, pick something that'll die easy. Cobalt, ghouls. Let's go with ghoul. 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 Oh, I suck with ghouls. You chose wisely, sir. <laughs> yes. Um. Let's see. Ghouls are good on arm. Okay. Monk a ghoul. I can go back. Oh, let's monk a ghoul. What is the name of your ghoul, sir? Uh, I like Nightbox's suggestion. Giggles. Giggles. Giggles is dead. Giggles is not dead. Giggles couldn't be dead. He's not dead. He's undead. He is undead. That's true. Alright. Uh, first, let's focus on unarmed combat. Exclusively. Because Giggles wants to live. And I have nothing but a robe. I want a ghoul wear a robe. That ghoul just kicked that thing's ass is what it just did. And we chop up the corpse and wait for it to rot before we eat it because we're a ghoul. Felids can eat their own corpse? Crazy. Chop choppy. Ghouls constantly rot away if you don't eat rotten ow flesh constantly. Like so. I have just lost one of my max MP. But I should get it back as I eat the rotten flesh and heal for it. Does the flesh have to be rotten? 
Uh, yeah, it pretty much does. So if you eat fresh flesh, it does not help you? I think that's the case. I don't, it's kind of weird. I don't really play ghouls very often, so I'm not 100% sure on that. Hey, we've reached level 2 already. So what, what, what are we what are we gonna do after this stream is over? A ring of ice. Uh, that is possibly dangerous because I'm vulnerable to fire now, and I don't like that. Dropping the ring of ice. Um, I don't know. I'm probably gonna go take a shower. Oh, I'm not going to get some sleep. I can't go to sleep with it light outside. I find it easier to sleep when it's light outside. In really? Some, in some instances. Like, instances when I don't want to fall asleep. <laughs> okay. Oddly enough. Uh, I, 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 I definitely want it to be... Uh, I'm not... I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and make it to eight or nine, and then I'm just gonna pass out. Okay, we've got an unarmed to level five. That's not bad. Let's leave that for now and work on fighting. Nope. More streaming depends on more donations. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> we are legally obligated to say that. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure if legally is the word, but honor bound. No, morally obligated for the children. Yeah, we, 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 this weekend we ain't giving away something for nothing. I can't decide how good or bad of an idea Fortune Street sounds. <laughs> I'm mean, referring to it off stream, of course. Um, I mean, I would pause the... Oh, I hit intelligence. Why did I do that? I'm used to playing mazes, that's why. We leveled up, though. Yeah. <coughs> I do not want to worship the plant god. Oh, I'm hungry. Eh, not that hungry. Maybe not. Is it still pizza-only rules, in effect? Oh, no, I had cereal at, like, 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock. Let's try some of these scrolls. Scroll of Curse Armor, great. Scroll of Blink Anywhere. Hands yeah, that's about right, Nyko. I mean, you know, I mean, I tried to sleep, you know, the night before, but considering I didn't. Scroll of identity, scroll of enhanced weapon, scroll of fog. Mm. And what if when you go to bed tonight, you have trouble sleeping? That would be so weird, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? You're weird. I expect to pass out for a really long time. Really long? Rip Van Winkle long? That would be pretty long. <laughs> that would be pretty long. That would be kind of depressing. Careless with my HP there. Giggles doesn't want to die yet. Oh, teleport trap. Tough worm. Tough worm. We can do it. Yeah, we did it.
I wake up and discover oh. I've missed the Wii U launch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got it on Waylay. Or Layaway. Waylay. <laughs> no, we were going to pre-order, but Walmart we decided were, to do we pre-orders. We were not going to pre-order. Right. But what, since our plan relied on going to Walmart, and Walmart decided to do pre-orders, we... Uh, we had to modify that plan. Going down to level three. Can I drink potions as a ghoul? Yes, I can. I feel mighty. You fall in the shaft. That's not good. We are on level four. No, but there's so much I can accomplish in the next three weeks. I immediately weeks. stepped uh, on an arrow trap. Also not good. For the next three weeks, I need to... Uh, I need to work on Morrowind. I need to build up a Dark Souls character to use on the DLC director stream. I also need to uh, 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 do, the, do the director stream for... Uh, Super Metroid, and there's all kind of stuff I can do with these next three weeks. Oh, all grinders after me. I don't want these next three weeks to disappear. I want to live them. Grinders after me, and I don't know. Oh, yeah, the Minecraft stream. I thought I already said that, but. I am looking forward to Minecraft stream. The plan is to go pick up the pre-order at Walmart at midnight on the 18th, because that is when they will happen. Indeed. Mm, I'm hungry. Hmm. Literally or gamerly? Uh, gamer gamerly. Scroll, nothing works. Not good. One of them's invisible. Really easy though, that's something. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh, uh let's quaft. You feel better. Let's quaft something else. Uh the Walmart pre order costs if they still have it. Um, ten percent plus Giggles. tax. Giggles is dead. Plus five dollars. Giggles is dead. Giggles is dead. Which leaves you a spacious two hours. Spacious, but is it enough? Crises can have unexpected turns. Oh, can't they now? They can. All right, I'm going to burr real quick, but I will get off so you can start your crisis scene. And don't forget to uh, switch the audio to not send myself back. All right. I will be back in a minute. 